pale kuna utepetevu katika upande wetu wa serikali na inapaswa mimi niombe msamaha kwa sababu wa Kenya miambili na kumi tayari wamepatikana katika makaburi tuko na shirika la upelelezi tuko na shirika la ujasusi tuko na askari polisi tuko na assistant chief tuko na wazee wa nyumba kumi, tuko na wale wote ambao wako kule hapo kumetokea makosa na siwezi kusema ya kwamba kuna vile tunaweza kukwepa lawama tuko na makosa na kwa sababu kuna makosa ni vizuri tuwaombe wa Kenya msamaha kwamba jambo hili lilitendeka tukiwa na serikali nikishasema hivyo huyu bwana makenzi na wenzake alishajulikana kwamba kuna jambo lenye dosari anafanya ameshikwa akapelekwa kotini kotini kamwachilia ameshikwa tena akapelekwa kotini kotini wamemwachilia ame, ame hii safari sasa ameachiliwa ndio amekuja sasa aka, akaongoza haya maovu akitumia dini ambaye nilisema leo huyu bwana ni mwalifu kiwango ya gaidi kwa sababu wale watu amewa e, maisha ya watu amewaua kwa kutumia dini hatuwezi kuelewa ni vipi lakini nimeambia taifa ya kwamba hii jambo na ndio nimeweka jopo mara mbili jambo la kwanza nimeweka jopo ambayo tunaita eh, judicial commission ifuatilie uhalifu na ituambie ni nani ali eh, zembea kazini ndio haya mambo yaka yakatokea na huyu bwana wa shirika wake ni nani haya makaburi yaliendelea vipi hii kazi hii mambo yote yaliyotendeka yalitendeka vipi hiyo hiyo ni ya kwanza ya pili nimeweka pia task force ya watu ambao wengi wao ni watu wa dini kwa sababu dini ni, ni mahali ambapo tunapaheshimu sana sisi wengine wetu ni wakristo tunamwamini Mungu na tunaamini dini ni mahali ambapo watu wanakimbilia wakiwa na matatizo na mashaka lakini pale wahalifu na watu wenye nia mbaya na watu wa mawaji kama yule vile makenzi na wenzake wanapotumia dini ni vipi tutazuia jambo hili lisifanyike tena katika taifa letu la Kenya you know so i am not taking it lightly you know i am i am taking a responsibility that as president this should not have happened and certainly some people who are responsible for this failure on the part of government will have to give an account because it should not have happened when we have all the agencies we have our intelligence we have our cid we have the chiefs and all the other people in the whole of that uh, ecosystem this kind of thing should never have happened the promise that i am giving to the people of kenya is that we will get to the bottom of this matter okay. and i am also giving them my uh, my commitment i know there are people who are jittery about they are saying we should not we should, we should not we should not regulate the church and that is correct we should not regulate the church no. the same way we should not regulate the media no. let us have an institution that uh, the, the an institution that self regulates no. we want to establish from our religious leaders how can they as religious leaders agree on a mechanism that makes sure that criminals and crooks do not take advantage of religion and of faith to be able to cause harm to Kenya no.